guys, 67 Crazy Camaro here. I finally hit my 100 subscribers. And as I promised some of my subscribers, I'll teach you how to mod GTA 4, the original, not the EL, hold up, episodes from Liberty City. And this has, you have to have the Grand Theft Auto original disc. It can't be the bundle pack or however it does it. But these are the things you're going to need. You're going to need a clean ISO, which you can get from this page here. Ignore the advertisements. But you come to this page, I'll have this in the description. You're going to hit get this torrent. But you're going to have to get this to uTorrent. This will let you download the ISO. So you're going to download it to your desktop. It's about a 7.30 gigabyte file total. And this will download the ISO, the DVD file, and whatever this is. I don't really use this. But then you're going to need to go to Deadly Fish's mod website, which also has this in the download. Then you go to Xbox modding, ISO modding, GTA 4 then GTA 4 mod files download and it should take you to this page I just clicked on it just to see if it would yeah there's a video here if you want to check it out I don't really care about these mods I have my own personal mods but you're going to scroll down here then you're going to click on this you're going to click on this weird thing download icon they call it you're going to download these Ignore this, this is just for car spawns. I don't like car spawns because they bog up the map and everything else. Um, here's the other e the episodes from Liberty City version, but you gotta look for a different video for that one because I'm still having troubles with that one. Now go ahead and download that from that website, and once you got that, that's pretty much it. You need Image Burner 2, and you need Xbox Backup Creator, and there's one more program I forgot to mention that you're going to need AVGX, I think it's called. No? AGDA. I forget what it is. I, I, I don't really use it, but it's for stealth patching or. ISO. My, this one I'm pretty sure is already pre stealth patched, so you don't have to do nothing to it. But first thing you need to do, you need to open up your ISO and you open up Xbox Backup Creator. Then you come over here, you go to Image Tools, Image Browser, File, Open Image. Then you want to find your ISO. I'm going to open it. Now, this is your main page. This is where all your files are for your game. The first one you want to do is your common file. You want to replace it. You want to go to your Deadly Fishes mods. You want to go to base mods and common. Now, you could do this one in here. This common file. This is for no modded handling. This one here has flying cars, super fast car, drift cars. I mean, you, but they all have God mode on them, which I don't really like. So I don't use this one. But I got a different one that's made. I made it by myself, but I'm not giving it out to the public. But this pretty much just controls all your handling. You text and all that like when you start up the game you'll see deadly fishes mods and all that this is where all the settings are you can look up on the internet on how to change that stuff I don't know how to do it but I'm gonna go ahead and replace the common let it do it thing now I'm gonna do the xbox 360.rpf it's under the same thing you're just gonna replace it and you're gonna do this one it's no map mods there's no different one. I haven't found a different one. I just use that one because there's no map mods. Now I'm pretty sure you go under. Yeah, you go under common data and CD images. This is where the menu goes in. This is where 
if you press the two buttons the menu will open up and you have control this is where all the coding goes this is where you don't want to mess up you want to go back you want to go to script file you want to make sure you go to script file and you make sure it's original now replacement file is larger than entry and may overwrite data and cause corruption okay to continue this is okay the reason it's telling you that is because the original file was smaller than this one this one here has a lot more coding a lot more menus and stuff in it this allows all your script modding and all your good stuff now go ahead and close your image because you're done with that you're done with xbox backup creator now you open up image burn you write image file to disk you select your file or your image or I mean your ISO sorry you want to select your ISO you should have selected yeah select your DVD file I keep forgetting this I always select ISO you want to select this file right here the DVD file it says now you want to make sure you have dual layer disk this is very important if you do not have dual layer disk then you are going to screw up big time you need dual layer disk this is the most important thing there's nothing around it you must have dual layer disk if you don't have dual layer disk it will not work you also need a dual layer burner it will not work with a normal burner it needs to be a dual layer burner mine off the top of my head is a dual layer burner but I do not know the exact model of it you can go on Best Buy or somewhere I bet here let me look up Best Buy you could probably get it for 30 to 20 bucks um, let's see dual layer burner Okay. Okay, maybe maybe now I'm Best Buy. Let's try New Egg. New Egg's got a lot of computer parts. C D I imagine you could probably just put C D burner. And probably find one right now pretty much all you want to look for if it can burn dual layer which is DD I think or DL try to look for one that's DL uh, but you can buy external ones too they don't have to be internal like these are these are internal but you can also buy external which just plug into your USB drive so just go ahead if you don't have a dual layer burner if you're not sure I don't know how to check but if you are trying to check try looking on the front of your dr excuse me on the front of your drive like on front of your DVD drive it should say dual layer yeah mine says dual layer and it's reading right but then you stick in the dual layer um, DVD into the dual layer burner you want to select the write speed as 2.4 and you click right now you want to make sure verifies on so it verifies the disk after the burn to make sure everything got burned right so now we're done on the PC once it's done burning and the tray opens or if you have it set to have the tray open you're done and now you just have to open your Xbox which you go on YouTube because I'm not going to be doing this since my Xbox is already open and just type in how to open Xbox 360 now what you want to make sure you're very very specific about I'm having a hard time thinking of words but 
The slim Xbox is the newest Xbox. It is the black Xbox. It's got the built-in Wi-Fi. It's all touch screen. And then the other consoles that are older are called fat. Just like that. And they are the fat consoles as you see in these videos. They are the fat. And then you got the slim which is the newer ones. The new touch screen ones. They're they're a little trickier, but still, they're, they're you can get them done. Now I'm gonna go over to my phone and record the rest of the video to show you on how to hot swap and stuff. So I'll see you over there and see you later, guys. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back here. I'm here on my phone. My computer just fell asleep. I'm gonna wake that thing back up or try to. Um, that's a video I just recorded on my computer. Um, I finally got my computer back together with the new um, graphics card. So we got a bunch of new stuff. Here is my modded disc. I have not wrote Sharpie on it yet. So I'm not sure if this is the right one. But hopefully it is. Got my Xbox remote. Got the Xbox all set up on my TV. Um, I'm currently not signed into Xbox Live. I kind of like doing this offline because... I have a feeling that Microsoft runs security checks on their Xbox like every hour. So when you're touching the Xbox and it sees that you're moving it around, I think that sends it to Microsoft and it's just, I don't know. But there's my Xbox right beside my Kinect machine I build. As you see the disc is spinning, I got it all tore apart. It looks fabulous. I got my 60 gigabyte hard drive on there. I plan on hot swapping for you guys and hopefully trying to reinstall my mods after I had to delete them. So first things first, you stick your disc in there, you put the magnet on the top because you don't want the disc flying out. And once your game loads, you hit X. And then you get these two options. Oh, there's my finger, sorry. As play now and install. What you want to do is you want to go down to install, you want to hit install. It's going to spin up and it's going to ask you where to install it. This is where I like to normally do my hot swaps. So let's try to get a camera focus. Okay. I can't really do hot swapping with one hand, but what I like to do is I like to take my two fingers and just press equally on my disc, slide the magnet up. And just swap like that. And I like to keep my finger on the magnet until the disc is fully spun up. And then you just stick your disc, original disc, back in the case. And now, if you look, I have my body disc in there. The original disc is in the case. And this is when you hit install. As you can see, the disc bends up and it sounds like it's trying to kill it, trying to kill me. But that's just it trying to read the disc as fast as it can and trying to install it as fast as you can so you can play it. So I guess I do have my mods installed on this disc. I'm going to sit down in my chair because I don't like standing. But this is going to install it hopefully all the way. Once it's done, I will be back. So hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'll be back when the video or when this is done. Okay, guys? Bye. Okay guys, I'm back and it's finally done. Uh, it just now finished as I started recording. I was trying to catch it a little early, but I couldn't. Um, nothing happening on my computer. I was trying to listen to some music on my stereo, but it needed an app update and it wanted to update. So I guess I couldn't listen to music, but oh well. Download's done. It's all installed. Now what you need to do is just not play the game. That would be a bad idea. You actually need to go into your settings, system, storage. You want to hover over your hard drive or where you installed it and you want to hit Y. And clear system catch. This will clear all the title updates from your hard drive. Um, you have to do this in order for the corresponds and all that other good stuff to work. But now you can connect to Xbox Live, which I'll do right now. And I don't need a keyboard because I don't have no script mods. But you guys might need a English 
English. Okay, English. It's got to be English. And it's got to be USB. But once you get that, an English USB keyboard, and you've been able to script, you would be able to play it online, script mod. Okay, you can see me in my chair. Okay, it's going to ask you for a title update. Go ahead and download that title update. Um, this, the way this launches up is going to be totally different than the way you, yours will launch up. Because I have totally different mods. Now, the game couldn't start trying downloading the game again. Uh, hold on. I think that's just because I had a title update. My console acts weird sometimes. But, don't expect this to happen on you. Uh, my console's acting weird again. Console be smart. And there's Blake signing the Xbox Live. Come on, launch up. The disc is unreadable. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go ahead and inject it. It should be okay. He shouldn't have this error. I just, I normally have this error because I freaking mess up all the time. Come on. Am I retarded? I left the original disc. Okay, guys, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't try to play off your modded disc. That's. That is not smart. Go ahead and swap it like you would normally if the new game. I just dropped my magnet because I was trying to do it one handed. But go ahead and inject your tray. Set the magnet in the middle. And I just push a little bit on that before it spins up. Just be sure it's on there. Oh, I just burped. I've been sick really bad lately, but now let's try to play the game. This time will probably work. Hopefully. Yep, there it is. As you can see, it says Chrome's Mod Realism 1.0 made by Chrome Mod. Blah, blah, blah. But everything's going to be the same. All your intro stuff's going to be the same besides that title. And there's going to be a few differences on the game. Let's see if I can set my camera. No, that's not going to work. How about over here? Is that too far? It looks okay. But you have to have a game save on the very first minute. Sorry, I just hit a... I guess the volume buttons on the iPhone consider are considered as what do you call pause and stop uh, but okay you're in the game you don't have no mods you're like wait what what's going on and my controller just disconnected that's just switch over my wires or my wired one but the problem is you gotta get a multiplayer whoa holy crap sorry about that so I have my speaker system plugged in and I got a notification on my computer but as you see, realism mods like what? Wait a minute. This is what you get in your common. I'm just gonna make this a private game so no one else can join. You can make a public game if you really wanted to and have other people join you, but this time. All the lobby stuff's pretty much the same. It says realism mods in the top right corner. Um I'm running uh Dark Smokes mod menu right now. If you want to use his, you can use his. It's the same setup. But the one I showed you is Deadly Fishes. I recommend using Deadly Fishes first. If you do not know what modding is. Okay. Here's Dead or er, Dark Smokes mod menu. This is pretty much the same as yours. Just different colors. I can actually change the colors of the menu too. Um, I think, um, Deadly Fish is actually gold, I think, something like that. But, you get all your vehicles, you got a list of vehicles, I like the Dukes, so I'm going to drive a Dukes. Go ahead and turn the music off. Um, let's see, back out of here, paints, I can change the color of the car, which turns on the radio, because you can use the left and right. 
Uh, I'm just making random colors and my controller keeps disconnecting. But you got the basic stuff. You got your neons. I can put blue neons on here. I can remove the car's wheels and still drive. I mean stupid stuff. You can add a speed monitor, I guess. I it doesn't work on my screen because it's not an HD TV. But fix and wash the car. I can put hydraulics on it. I can lower the car. I can lift the car. If you can see that. Um, rain. God dang it. There's lots of options in this menu. Just go ahead and go check it out. Mm, let's see. I'm just checking out all the options here. You got weapon options. I can get all the weapons. So if we get out, I guess the doors are locked. Pistol. Shotgun. Um, actually, there's other mod menus in this mod menu, which I really like. Remember map mods. Hold on other menus there goes my controller again I'm starting to get annoyed okay if it goes dead again I'm gonna give up but XMC's I like XMC's mod menu he's got an excellent mod menu it's pretty much the same but it's got different options in it oh uh, let's see rapid fire um rapid fire is like insane dude when you're using the rapid fire And there goes my controller. I'm switching over to my wired one. Hold on, guys. Let's plug in my wired one to the Xbox. And it lights up. Uh. Okay, let's see what else do we got. Vehicle options. You got all your same vehicle options they did last time. But there's just tons of different mod menus in here. You can hear a bunch on this controller. That's bad. But, there you go guys, there's the mod menu, there, that's how you mod GTA Online, this is online, this is a multiplayer match, I have no way of showing you, because probably none of my friends play GTA, uh, actually he's playing GTA right now, can I join him, Let's see if I can join him, he's probably on the ballad. Oh no, he's on the original. Okay. Let's do a little bit of modding. Okay. Let's just, I want to set up the camera. He might kick me up. Actually. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and get one of our mod menus up and running here. Let's get XMC. Okay, there's a lot of people, vehicles, um, let's go for sports car, salt and RS, vehicle options, oh, forgot this car has a drift mod on it, sorry about that, actually I'm going to enable a garage menu, okay, let's see, other menus, Okay, three sockets, garage menu. I like it the most. I'm gonna go ahead and drive down the street a little bit just so I don't get shot at home. This video about five minutes. Okay, let's change the colors of this car. Mm. Make it gold. Okay. I'm just picking random colors here, guys. I'm not trying to be cool looking. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and put some neons under it. Vehicle. If I remember how to put neons under a car. <laughs> um, sorry guys, I'm having some slow times. I haven't played on GTA in so long. Here's neons. Actually, I'm going to put some orange under here too. There we go. Now we got blue and orange, which makes white, I guess. But when you're host of the game, other people can see your neons. Right now I'm just going to drive around a little bit. 
As you can see, my driving is okay. Let's go see if someone will shoot me. We do have God mode on. Oh, I just crashed. Check out what's going on over here. Guess nothing's going on. I don't think there's no other modders in this game. Well, let's see if he'll shoot me. Shoot me! I don't even think he's really paying attention. See, he's shooting me. And I'm taking no damage. No damage at all, guys. That's God mode. But anyways, before this video gets too long... I'll see you guys later. Just kind of plow them, guys. There we go. And we forgot one. Okay. I think he's got enough shame in him. But I'll see you guys later. And that's how the mod GTA 4 original. See ya.